Hi everyone, this is Kathleen Baber and it is Saturday morning and I'm going to do a plan with me for you guys for this next week. Um, a little behind because usually I like to do that kind of like Wednesday or Thursday and here it is Saturday. But I wanted to show you last week's spread. Um, I filmed this but it was pretty much a disaster. <laughs> so it will not be coming out as a plan with me. There was lots of undo happening and oh my goodness, it was kind of terrible. So anyhow, this is um, a beautiful, beautiful kit. It's called Peonies. And as you can see, it forms a, a pretty um, scene through the middle of the kit. By the time you guys see this, it should be in the shop. It's in the shop now, but not as a ready-to-ship item. But it should be by the time you guys see this next weekend. Um, because I'm trying to convert to being a ready-to-ship shop. Say that five times fast. <laughs> that could turn out really badly. But anyway, um with just having a limited quantity and listing that limited quantity as ready to go is my goal. So since this is one of the newer kits that I just came out with, it for sure is going to be in there as a ready to ship. And then I'm catching up on some of the older kits that are going to stay in the shop. Some of them need a reformat. <coughs> oh, Mike's. My apologies. So some of them need a reformat, so um, when they get that, then they'll also be ready to ship. And hopefully over a couple of weeks, maybe a month, even all the functional will be in that same category. All right. So this week is the 12th through the 18th, and the 14th, of course, is Valentine's Day. And so I wanted to go ahead and use a kit that I... I apologize. I didn't get the Valentine stuff up in time for most planners to order and have delivered and all of that. Um, there are a few of these still in the shop and they're kind of in a clearance section on sale. Um, they are ready to ship, so they are limited in their quantity and styles. So if you like this kit, you could probably find it in an Erin Condren version, but you won't find it in the classic Happy Planner version because I'm using the last one. <laughs> so my, my plan is honestly that things will be seasonal and they'll come and go fairly quickly with a good turnaround and what's left over gets put on sale so that people can take advantage of, hey, I still want that St. Patrick's Day kit, but I'm going to have to hang on to it for a year. So anyway, this one was called Love Story, and it has a one little quote box that said, our, says, our story is a love story. And it's pretty, it's just got an old-fashioned feel to it, and it has lots of books and such, and lots of roses um, to kind of just get that soft, romantic feeling. And there's our quarter boxes and half boxes, again, in that beautiful palette of muted rose and this kind of I don't know what you call this type of green but I really like it then we've got our washi our flags more of the quarter boxes lots of these little flags which I am loving and then this is actually um kind of an interesting one in that I didn't do a pattern behind it but I did do color so I kind of like it and some bigger deco here with the books then we've got some washi we've got three heart checklists icons um, little canceled little longer flags and then you've got your weekly sidebar sticker headers, um, a little optional swoosh if you like, some deco, a happy Valentine's Day, and then your scripty words. And then that's a basic kit, six sheets with all of that. And then if you wanted to make it a deluxe kit, you've got your day covers, time corners, and littles. 
which give you four other um, headers. Now, in the newer kits, two of these, these bottom two actually, will be um, little mini, little uh, header size appointment boxes so that this part is like white and then you just have a, a trim around it that's the color. So it makes it nice for, you know, being able to just write in if you're, you know, if the little doesn't really match what you need to do. So anyhow, that's everything for that guy. Let me go ahead and put these, pull these guys out. And, oh, okay, that's what I was saying there. Now I remember. And I do have my little handy dandy pre done thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go kind of quiet now and put down almost everything except for when we get to the actual planning. And then I'll kind of chat about my week some. And hopefully this will turn out lovely. I'm actually going to use the date covers, guys. I rarely do, but I really like these. And I think um, I found that this size, just barely, but it does fit. And my newer um, paper does a good job of covering the, um, actually I think this is some of my, the last of my older paper. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and wind it out because I do know that that will go through. So let me go. I will see you guys on the flip side.
Okay guys, here's how far I've gotten. I did a couple of things. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, and it might be silly of me to point it out. This looks short, this box. And I have done several testings on a couple of different Happy Planners. Some of these Happy Planners have just a thinner line. And so it's easier to like line up the header so that this works exactly at two and a quarter. These thicker ones don't seem to be exactly, exactly the same size. So anyway, I have reformatted these to be just the teeniest bit taller. <laughs> so don't worry about this little line. I'm not going to let it bother me. Um, I've just learned that I really do have to be able to see the black in between and the black at the bottom. And that's usually the best bet that they're going to fit exactly the way I want them to. So anyhow, I did this a little different without using headers. I went ahead and just used some washi over this and some washi here. I really love this pretty lace, this pretty lace washi. And yeah, you can see that there's a pink line there, but it's a pink kit. So I like that kind of hide and seek quality. Um, on that and then I thought that this washi just kind of helped bring that pink that was a little more bluish into the warmer kind of more yellow so I kept playing with covering it up and just using it as a you know a way to have something on that little line but I think in the end I just really like this so I'm gonna leave it that way um, I was gonna tell you guys you probably see me do this a couple times now these are great for lifting stickers, not just cutting your washi. You can really get underneath it. It um, just kind of, you could just slide it and you're not um, bending your sticker or stretching the sticker. And I am in love with this little um, gadget. So it's a palette knife. It costs $3 at Michael's. Great for cutting washi, but also great for lifting stickers. So, um, then I did a little ribbon banner type thing, and I didn't really tell you guys where I found all this washi. Some of it I know where I found it, some of it not. I believe this came from a recollections tube. These little skinny guys are from Hobby Lobby. You'll find them not in the washi section, but over in the Easter stuff. They're in a little pack, and I think they're so pretty, and I love that they're skinny, just the, just the size of a header. This is a Scotch brand washi, super easy to work with. I really like these. And then this one, I'm not 100% sure, might have also been a Recollections tube. Um, so the other thing I was going to point out is that I did use this little skinny washi at the top because when I did the white out, some of it kind of extended past where I wanted it to. So I just wanted to kind of cover that up, which is such a bummer because if this were on my regular my new paper I wouldn't have had to white out and it would have been just fine so alrighty I think that was everything yeah okay so let's get into the planning of this week it's gonna be kind of a fun week I think um, you know, it's always busy. It's all, you kind of start out looking at it and thinking, okay, not a bad week, not a bad week. And then things just pile up and you're like, this was not supposed to be so busy. So this last week was really good. I got a lot of stuff done in the shop that I wanted to. Started really stocking things up um, the way I wanted. And uh, I'm going to use these little time corners. Um... I think you guys have seen me use them before, but I'm going to put an 830 on this little guy. So it just lets you, I like them to be contrasting I, so that they pop off the page. So whatever box I'm using, I try to find something that contrasts. And then you just line it up on this edge and at the top, and it just puts a little corner on there so that you've got the time just jumping off at you. So I really enjoy that. I think it looks really sweet. 
So let's see. And then the rest of the day is going to be work. But I do want to leave a little spot so that I can mark. I'm going to put those up almost together. I am not a no white space planner. Um, I need a little bit of white space for sure. But one of the things that I found looked really cute. Let's see if I can make it look cute with this washi bean here. Was to take one of these guys. And lay it on its side. Uh, I don't think I'm going to like that just because this is going to interfere. But anyway, and then put the time corner and it looks really cool. So let, I'll see if I can do that on, on one of the other days. So if I'm not going to mark it that way, get this little guy. I think I'm going to bump this down just a little so I have some space in between them. So my inspiration kind of for this kit was, I actually did a, a love story one last year because I kind of like, I don't know the words to the song and I don't even know the song all that well, but I like the idea behind, um, I think it's Taylor Swift's Our Story is a Love Story. Um, you know, that everybody has this little thing, this little special thing about how they started. And it may only be special to them. The rest of it, the world might look at it and say, oh, that's just so ordinary. But it's not ordinary to you. It's your story. And so it's super personal. And, you know, even if it is just boy meets girl, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I, I love and I love the idea of writing it down. I also love the idea that, you know, these are different books. And so to some people that might represent different people. I don't, for me, it doesn't. It's the same, same guy <laughs> for 30 plus years. But we've definitely had different phases and adventures in our lives. We've had the time when we were active duty military. We had the time when we became parents after a long hard struggle to do that um so anyhow i just i think that it's it's remarkable that we all have this wonderful wonderful part of our lives that we you know this this part of falling in love that is unique and beautiful to us now, i was going to do a lunch on tuesday but honestly, that is not going to work out. Oh, I never did put the dates on those. Probably been yelling at me. Put on your dates. Where did my sheet go? It has the date covers. Okay, let me stick those on there real fast. Okay, so let's see. So Tuesday, Tuesday morning is going to be working, and then Tuesday afternoon is always. A little bit of a running around time. So let me go ahead and put that on here. And then use one of the solid color guys. Actually, no, I think I'm still going to use one of these. Sometimes I put this little chore in the to-do 
section, but I'm going to go ahead and pop it up there. And then I'll put, so I'm probably going to pick those guys up around three. And then I'm going to do deliveries at like eight or nine. This last week when I did papers, we had a snowstorm coming in, so I was sweating it. Could I get them all done? Actually, that would look better in a green, wouldn't it? So when you get the time corners, there are three sets that go from 1 to 12.30. So you get three of every time. So that works out kind of nice. And the nice part is if, you know, the next week you may even have different times that you could still pop those in. I think I'll just pop this right there. That'll look nice. Okay. And then, let's see. Wednesday morning gets to be work again. Which I love. And gosh, it's hard to believe sometimes that I get to do exactly what I love. And I really, really love it. Um, it is not drudgery for me to work on the sticker shop. I mean, there's different things that I love more than others, but it is still just amazing to me that I get to do this as my main, my main task through the week. So, still growing. I mean, not, I work full time, but I don't get paid like I'm working full time. So, working on that, <laughs> working on that, but it, I mean, it is nice. I've been able to have my mom come do a few things for me and be able to supplement her income just a teeny bit. Um, it will be really nice when I could say it's actually pain, pain. Right now it pays for itself, but it doesn't, doesn't do much more than that. Um, so it'll be interesting when I do taxes, if I see that if I was actually profitable for the year. Um, I hate doing taxes. I am not looking forward in any way, shape or form other than to know if you know, if I have to claim actual income. So, the rounded ones are a little more difficult to play the time corners on because it's not straight at this corner, but it's still doable if you can get it to line up on the edge. And that looks cute. Okay, and that's for helping Francesca out. Okay, then Thursday, Thursday I don't get to work. I get to run around with my mom, which is not a bad thing, but sometimes I just want to stay home for weeks on end. And I've definitely done that the last two weeks. I have not gone out much during the week. And so last night, my daughter and I went and did some running around, and we just had a lot of fun. We're getting super excited to uh, for our, our trip that's coming up. And so we got some shoes, and we got some sunglasses. I ordered a purse online that I'm hoping is going to be kind of a bigger, roomier backpack type purse, but without being a backpack. We'll see. It's hard to buy things like that online. And it's hard to anticipate how much stuff I'll need to carry. Okay. So that's Thursday. 
I'm hoping I'll have Thursday morning to do a couple of things, but, and then Friday I'll work in the morning probably. I let her all clean. Um, I think I'll leave it open for right now. I won't write in this box, but I have a friend who um, is passing through, kind of. Her daughter lives fairly close to me, and she is going to come and visit. I don't know exactly what time she's going to get here, though. And I said I was going to show you guys how to do this. Ha! I'm pulling this puppy up. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop this one down. And put one in. Because... I can. Okay, so here I can put I'll split the difference there. And where are my time demons? Oh, it's crooked underneath. So anyway, this looks really just like that see I like that and you know what you can write on your planner you don't have to write on a sticker <laughs> isn't that the craziest but I think I am so guilty of thinking I don't have a, a label to lay down it's just silliness. Okay, so she's coming in the afternoon, but Francesca's got. So I'm gonna just put this here for pet band. I do believe this is their last one. And then I'm gonna put this guy here for my my friend coming in. I'm just gonna write it on. Okay. The Saturday and Sunday actually look pretty good. Um, I do have a morning meeting on Sunday. I don't have those stickers printed up for myself. The last batch were kind of a test and found out that my blade depth was not right for the new paper. So there's that, and then I think I'll put a half box down for church, or you know what, I think I'll just put one of these pretty quarter boxes on. That's kind of cool. There we go. And then I do have a meeting after. So let me use I think I kind of want to use a little a little fast one. I love this color, kind of bluey green. I kind of call it a Martha Stewart blue because she did a lot of a lot of her things in this pretty light, light teal. Okay, there's that. And then I think that's everything. Let's see. Have a little bit of have this pretty deco. I think I might put some of it down here at the bottom and maybe some on Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday yet, so maybe I'll leave this kind of open for Saturday and do a little decoration here. Not 100% sure. It's really pretty, but it's kind of biggish. Actually, I think I'll put this pretty book right here.
I usually do planning there or something like that, but I could still write it in really small if I wanted. And there are these really cute little bows that are kind of fun to just put around on these, these half boxes. Just kind of makes it more sweet and feminine. And I kind of like alternating. Yeah, I think they just look kind of darling. And then also on the deco, oh, guys, I didn't put down the Happy Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll just put this here at the bottom. My husband works second shift, so Valentine's Day is not going out to dinner. I'll probably do like a nice lunch for him though. There we go. And then there are these really pretty little swishes and a sweet little arrow and stuff. But I just don't know where I want to put that because this week filled up pretty fast. For a week that I said, hey, I don't have a ton going on, right? Seems like that is always the case. Okay, let me use this little 7.30. That's my early meeting. And then... My 1 o'clock is my later meeting but this is so skinny that I just don't think that'll look right so I think I'm just gonna leave it this is really crooked and bugging me see if I could peel it up straighten it out just to... another try right and the thing is it might not even be this sticker that's crooked it might just be that one <laughs> okay there we go and then let's see Let's put, put the little, oh, that's kind of books on books though, isn't it? Got a little space that I can use there. And then, I don't know if we'll do something on Saturday for Valentine's. We're kind of doing something tonight. For Valentine's and that's a, a like a sweetheart dinner at church so cool beans let me put in oh I don't have any pink ones for church I guess I'll go with this kind of bluey green and somebody say they didn't love these colors when they bought their the stickers so, well, it's exactly what I bought, but then I didn't love the colors, and I was, like, kind of hurt. Thinking, well, at least it wasn't false advertising, and I love the colors, and I like the watercolor effect, you know, that then it doesn't have to be matchy-matchy, you know? You're kind of in a family of colors here, but... I don't know. I'm I'm willing to take feedback if somebody hates it. And then let's see. Oh, and they didn't love the fonts either. And I thought the fonts were a good mix of fonts, but who knows? Maybe it's time to redo those and make them all one font. That sounds boring. <laughs> Anyhow, it's hard not to take things to heart when you're a sticker shop and you spend all your time doing stickers and you want them to be universally loved and that's just not possible so that was my last pet band and that's the last pet band game so at least I think it is pretty sure it is okay that's picking up the papers and this is delivering papers. 
and then now be Francesca with the papers. Only a few more weeks, guys, and then the papers are done. All right, and then what else? Anything else need a time on it? I don't know what time we're going to this thing on Thursday, so yeah. I think I will put a full box down here, or I mean a half box, sorry. Half box down here just to kind of save this mark a spot for anything that might come up on Saturday that might be fun. My sister and I haven't gotten to do anything for her birthday yet, so maybe that'll be that weekend. And then I do have these cute little roses that work great as little bullet points. So I think I'll put one there. And another one. Because you know, my Sunday thing is get a nap. So, we're supposed to go to my in-laws this weekend, but waiting to see what the weather does. It is much more cloudy today. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and write this stuff down. I cannot chat and write because I am not talented that way. <laughs> and I'll be right back. I used um, a Papermate Ink Joy for this one. I kind of love this tealy color. It may not have gone exactly with the other greens that are happening here, but I still think it's super pretty and um, kind of jumps off the page, almost like I used a black. So that's that's a good thing. Um, I really like this. I think it is romantic and sweet without being um, over the top valentines um, which there's nothing wrong with over the top valentines absolutely not it's all good but um, for me this is perfect 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 so this is um, love story like I said it's in some limited quantities in the shop but I might just bring it back with a little bit of a reformat for later in the year um, just as like an anniversary or a wedding spread because I think it could really work well for, for those two. So thanks guys for watching and I will catch you again next week. Take care.